Hey guys, it's Dave from Escape Creative, and I'm really excited about this most recent release. This is probably my favorite yet. We've added over 20 new customization options for the course grid add-on for LearnDash, and I wanna show you all of them. So let's jump in and take a look. So here you'll see the default LearnDash course grid. When you first install the plugin and you add a course grid, this is what it'll look like. You've got a few courses here. You'll notice even the spacing's off a little bit. It looks pretty generic. It's still better than a standard text list, but here is what the course grid looks like. And I'm gonna show you how to turn this into something that looks a little more like this, even with some nice hover effects here. So I'm gonna show you how all that's done. So let's jump in and take a look right now. So if you have the course grid add-on installed, when you head over to your customizer and click on the Learn Dash panel, you'll notice this new course grid option here at the bottom. It only shows up if you have the course grid installed and activated. So let's open it up and take a look at all the options. Now before I start customizing things, you will notice here that the course grid already looks a little bit different than it did previously. So what we've done is reset the styles, we've added a nice little shadow, some rounded corners, we've kind of tweaked things a little bit with the progress indicator and uh, made some, some general overall changes. But as always, with the pro version of Design Upgrade Pro plugin for LearnDash, you get to customize everything on your own as well. So let's jump in and take a look at some of these options here. First, we've got our border width. Let's say we wanna do a four pixel border and we wanna choose this teal color here. You'll notice it's applied right there. Let's also say maybe we wanna get rid of the rounded corners. So we'll go ahead and enter zero for the border radius. That'll get rid of those. Now by default, there is a shadow behind each grid item, but we can always just choose none here. Get rid of that shadow. Now this is a feature that I really like here is, is I like these buttons to span the full width. So now you notice that they cover up the entire grid item. And this looks especially nice here when you've got a grid of four or five items. Uh, the, the button takes up the entire space and it looks pretty nice. Another really cool feature is the transparent progress bar. So you'll notice we've got the progress bar here moved up right at the base of the image. Now this progress bar will inherit the same styles that you've already chosen for your progress bar on a previous panel that our plugin includes. But what this transparent option does is it'll let the image show behind the bar a little bit. So watch these transparent bars as I go ahead and check this box. You'll see they turn to this white with a little bit of transparency so you can see the image behind it. And yet this full purple uh, indicator that actually shows where you are in terms of the progress of your course, that stays 100% and covers the image, it's just the white um, incomplete part of the bar that you can see some of the image behind it. So that's a nice little feature there. Then we've got a couple of cool options for when you hover over these. So right now when you hover over, nothing happens and that's the default behavior. But what we can do is we can choose to add a shadow when we hover over these items. And you'll see a little faint shadow appear here, here after we hover over each one. What we can also do is we can transform and we can choose two options here, lift or enlarge. So first, let's take a look at lift. I really like the lift option com uh, combined with the shadow. I think that looks really nice when you lift it up just a couple of pixels and apply a shadow. Or we can also, I like to get rid of the shadow and let's do an enlarge effect instead. And that's essentially gonna make each one of these just grow and scale out just a little bit. This looks uh, really nice with the four, four column grid as well as when you insert the course grid, you have the option to remove all of the content and the buttons and just show the image itself. So that's what this is right here. And you'll notice these just enlarge a little bit as well when you hover. The next thing we can do is we can update the ribbon. So I'm gonna come back up to the three courses that I have here in this three column grid. And these next options for the ribbon position, we can choose either the top left, which on left to right languages is gonna be the default, or we can actually move it over to the top right. We can also adjust the border radius. So by default, it's gonna have slight rounded corners, but again, if we wanna get rid of those, we can enter zero, or we can put any other value in here and make even more rounded corners. Let's say we did something more like 12 or even maybe 20, would give us even some more rounded corners there on the ribbon. The next thing we can do is I've added color options for the background color and the text color for your default ribbons, as well as your enrolled ribbons, your free courses, and if you choose to use custom text for your ribbon, you can change the background and text colors for those custom ribbons as well. 
So I'm gonna do a little bit of customization here and notice how each of these three different ribbons change as I'm going through this. And now you'll notice that this course here for $1 has a white background with some purple text. When you're enrolled, it will have a white background with some teal text. And for any custom ribbons that you apply, you'll have a red background with some white text over it. So those colors are completely up to you. You can choose whatever you would like to for that. The last couple of options we've got is for the category selector. This is optional when you add a course grid, you may not have a category drop-down selector, but if you choose to use it on your site, I've added a few options so that you can customize it just a little bit. So the first option is that by default, it's gonna have a full width and take up the entire space of your page, which you'll notice this gray background color spans the entire width. We can change that to be inline, and then it will just take up as much space as it needs on the page. I also don't like this extra course categories label right here. We already have in the drop down it says select course categories. So I find it kind of redundant that this is here. So let's just go ahead and hide that extra label. So now we just have the drop down itself. We can also choose a background color. So instead of that light gray, let's say we wanted a really light purple color. We could come here and put in just a nice faint light purple color behind that. We can also adjust the border radius. So again, if we wanted this to be squared off on the corners, we can enter zero, or we could enter another value there to adjust the border radius. And the final option is the padding. By default, I've put uh, about 16 pixels here of padding. What we can do here is maybe make this something like four, and almost kind of puts like a slight little border around it. And then again, if we wanted to sort of match the border radius of the drop down, we could do that there as well. Oh, and there's one other design option I wanted to show you that I came up with when I was playing with these settings. It just might give you some ideas on uh, exactly what you can do with the plugin. So let's say we wanted to get rid of the border altogether. So I'm going to put zero in here for the border width. It doesn't matter what your color is set to. If you have a zero border width, it's not going to show. And then let's uh, add the default shadow back in behind these. So that adds a nice little effect there where you just have the shadow behind each item and no border. And then what I like to do for these, instead of the enlarge hover option, I like to add another shadow and do lift. So now you've got just a nice little shadow behind each item, and then it's going to add an even deeper shadow and lift it up a little bit. Now you can also, if you wanted to get rid of the shadow, and we can put just a very faint gray border color and let's just make it one pixel. This is another option to just give it a little bit of a faint border color. And then as you hover over, you've got a nice shadow with a lift effect. So I just wanted to show you that other option. Hope you guys like it. So that covers it. Over 20 new customization options for the course grid add-on. I'm really, really excited. Like I said, this is probably my favorite feature set that I've been able to release so far. I hope you guys enjoy it. And as always, if there's other little small customizations that you want to make to the course grid that are not included in the plugin, those are included with the support that you receive for one year when you purchase the plugin. So I'd be happy to send you some custom code snippets to do some other little neat little things there with your design if the plugin itself does not have an option for it. So thanks for watching and you can purchase below.